Nate and I would like to thank the Niagara Corporation for sponsoring today's episode of Let Me Tell You Something. Niagara is the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products, including toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60%. Niagara products were originally designed just for plumbing professionals, but they're now available for homeowners as well. So, if you're remodeling your home or constructing new, check out NiagaraCorp.com to get long-lasting water savings. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Isaiah Stamack, back in the building for another episode of... Let me tell you something, man. I... Let's go. Let's let's just get the show going. Let's let's go, man. <laughs> what you got? What you got? Let's hey, go. y'all y'all heard the let me tell you something. Y'all know who that is. That's not my voice. That's the big Nate dog. For those that are just listening wow. in and can't and can't see the can't see the salt and pepper on the chin. That's him himself. Uh, but big Nate hey, dog, what's up, man? This this bothers me. It's called a protection what's that? of players. Uh, it, it, it's got okay. it's an umbrella. It's it's it's. An umbrella, this protection of players. What are you talking about, Nate? Uh, what, what sport are we talking about, man? Different rule changes in the NFL. Yeah, it, it, we talking oh, about. Oh, talking about the league, okay? Uh, not overworking players. We talking about. Uh, what is that? This week here, when this airs, probably be tomorrow, which will be Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Uh-huh. And I think that's the last day of OTAs, uh, either a, a mini camp, whatever you want to call it. Whatever no, they, you want to call it. mini camp now. To me, it's the same thing. Okay. It's called glorified walkthrough. No matter what you want to call it, it's called a glorified <laughs> walkthrough. And the okay. issue I have is this right here. Is all the coaches, the league, the players – the players union say, well, they don't need all of that hitting. Okay, I agree. I was an ex-player. I agree. But the advantage okay. here is they should be able to slow down, understand the plays, know how to line up, know what to do. When you get to training camp, there should be less blown assignments Less players that's not saying, uh, okay. coaches are defending players saying, well, we, we got to walk him through a little slower. As of this week, Understood. right here, these players will have almost seven weeks off. They have playbooks. They have iPads like we have. Right. How, most of them are not going to pick up this playbook, Isaiah. So when we get to training camp and we rapping with coaches and we rapping with GMs and and they say this player's a little slow. Okay, I was a little slow. But I'm talking about mentally. You're talking about speed now. I'm talking about mentally. Okay. I'm talking about mentally. And maybe I lost everybody there. They say that they don't want to do a lot of hitting. They don't want a lot, a lot of guys' legs not uh, underneath them. So, okay, I'm, I'm with that. But what about mentally? Guys are coming into this league, Isaiah, taking – I'm talking about first, second, third, and fourth round picks that are not showing up because are not getting any playing time because they can't mentally grasp the game. W- what are they doing? I, that, that is my beef. What are they doing? They've taken away all the physical aspects. And I understood back then when me and you played, okay. we were we were surviving. Yeah. They was putting in 20 plays a day yeah. and you was going out <laughs> and hit twice a day. <laughs> now they putting in 30 plays a day Facts. and you walking through and they and they have walkthroughs. We didn't have walkthroughs for the plays. They have Two or three walkthroughs. You walk Facts. through with the quarterback, wide receivers. Then you walk through with the quarterback, wide receivers, and, and linemen. And then you get together, then you run mm-hmm. offensive walkthrough. You run defensive walkthrough. Then you go back in and you watch more film of what you just did of the plays. Now, and the reason I'm going down this road, we have a new <laughs> offense we're putting in. 
this year that dictates that if you don't study, it's going to come back on your quarterback because he's going to have to release the ball. It's the West Coast offense where you don't come up, you don't really have to change plays because before they leave the huddle, they'll give you a paragraph. And when you go walk up to the line, yeah, you have a, a sight adjustment where you see. But as these guys are moving and the play start, they change dramatically. You have to change your route. Am I correct? Yes. I, and the I've reason been in I'm the so upset like it. is because I saw what happened last year when C.D. Lamb was trying to learn what to do. And it took us oh. six or seven, it took oh, us four oh, or five you know, weeks. Talk about Even that, though I, I backed C.D. Lamb with everything I had, and I still do, we can't have that this year. Agreed. And for, and for all those listeners out there that are unfamiliar with, uh, with our platform, we, we're, we're referring to the Dallas Cowboys. You know, Nate and I are both former Dallas Cowboys, and uh, he's referencing we when he's, yes. talking, when he's talking French. He's going to his Jalen Smith. He's <laughs> saying we, we. He's talking about the Dallas Cowboys, y'all, just in case y'all might have been a little but lost. <laughs> th- this is what I don't understand. And, 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 and we can go out to practices and we can watch these guys. And the coaches said, well, we don't want to show you nothing. We don't want other teams to grasp what we're doing. When you are putting in a new offense, I wouldn't care. I, I really wouldn't. Who, okay. who watching, who not? Because these players have to know what to do. And now that is universal around the league, 32 teams, the first four games to five games is a preseason. I ain't talking about the preseason. I'm talking about the regular season. Yeah. You're trying to learn what players can do. And you know, and, and I'm correct. I, I agree with that. So so let me let me back because you just hit on a whole lot. Let's go back to the draft picks. Okay. First of all, any NFL team, I don't care if it's the Dallas Cowboys or the doggone Cincinnati right. Bengals, or you can't even say them no more. They're actually good. Uh I don't know. You gotta say the Los Angeles Rams, okay? It don't matter if you're at the top of the league or the bottom of the league. What draft picks are expected to come in and make an impact year one. Back when you played, Nate, and in the current football, current day, what draft picks, rounds Wait, one through seven, what rounds are expected to come in and make an impact immediately from your perspective? one and two uh-huh. had to be significant players in the game. But the way the game has changed okay. now, and see, if you played defense back then, the first four rounds, they wanted you to be an impact, impactful player because it was like basically line up in, in the front and you went forward. Yeah. But offensively, and beat your guy. the first okay. one and two, they expected a whole lot out of. They expected. But in today's NFL, all the way to your fourth round pick, and I don't care if he offense, defense, or special teams, you need for him to be on the field. And I'm talking about the fourth round at a minimum of 25%. And, and you add another 10%. A fifteen percent to each each round that you go up third third round. I need him on the field forty five percent. I need the next the, th- the second round pick. I need to be seeing sixty five percent, and I want my first round pick to be starting a split in time. That that is what the new NFL brings. That way, the development of these players are uh, 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 speeded up, enhanced. You can't have yeah. You can't I have. See. Player, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying, Nate, because th- there's, a, there's an argument on both sides, right? So from the league's perspective, these walkthroughs, okay? Obviously, those these these things have been almost yes. mandated by the players' union. By our by the by the players' union, they are trying to take the wear and tear off of players because call it like it is, coaches are going to going to take things that's right, that's right. as far as they can take them, as far as they're allowed to. So if we are allowed to have two a day actual hard hitting practices, doing. guess what you're going to be doing, Nate? To you're gonna be hidden, okay, for for five hours a day, just like we used to back in the day, okay. I think it was my second or third year in the league, Nate, when these changes started to happen, and it was and it was weird. It was really weird because we went from having all out bruising pack and practice, and then you know you wake up in the morning, yeah. you do your P test, you know you got the piss man, I gotta come watch you, okay. You do your P test, that's at five o'clock in the morning. Then you gotta go get your lift in, okay, at six something. Then you gotta go get your meetings in. And then after right. meetings, then you go straight to the field. You have your first practice. After your first practice, right. you go to you go wash your butt. You go to lunch. 
Okay, you get about an hour and a half for a nap, two hours for a nap, and then you're right back to getting taped up again for the second practice. You go out to the second practice, and then following that, you eat dinner, right. and then you have meetings, right? And I don't know if how similar this is to your schedule, Nate. Then you have meetings for the next two and a half hours that are going over not only the right. first practice, but also the second practice. And, that's so, and those meetings take you to about 9.30. Before that. That's yeah. if you don't have a special team meeting. So meeting, so you're literally your day was five a.m. to about ten p.m., ten thirty p.m. That was your day, and because of the players' union, because they're trying to take the wear and tear off of guys, that has been severely reduced. So now, to your point, the physicality yes. aspect has been removed from the game. The demand on players has been removed. So now it's psychological. Where? Because now guys are having to do those multiple walkthroughs, the Jason Garrett style, where you're doing two or over, three walkthroughs plays. really before practice. And versus different yeah. defenses. It ain't like they're giving you one defense. They're giving you at least two to three defenses and the variations that can happen. Right. And even in training camp, if you start at six in the morning, you have to be through by six in the evening. Well, excuse me, four in the evening. It's either 10 yeah. Uh, is he? Uh, is he the? T- I think it's ten hours for the veterans, and eleven hours for the uh, for the uh, rookies. You know, wow. so you have to be. If you start at seven in the morning, you have to be seven in the evening. You have to be done. So they give you a twelve-hour window Jeez. to get ten hours in, and then yeah. and they and they 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 finding they taking draft picks depending on how many times you want to kick this, and right. Well, Coach Coach McCarthy yes. got fined what yeah, 150,000 last year, I believe his body it was. Got un- unbalanced. You know what I'm saying? He had to get he had to get <laughs> surgery, bro. Do it about a Yeah. So so there's there's some there's some true ramifications. So I mean, as people are listening to us, I mean, from the former player standpoint, it, it, we consider you know it to what? be soft. No. We 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 consider it we, to be we soft. can say that Zell, but we knew that you would still be playing. If they had this day and age, you, they'd be like, oh, Isaiah is one of the oldest guys. True. You think Tom Brady's old? Look at Isaiah step back. You know, Zeus is still looking good. But I, I'm, right. I'm like this. I, I don't have a problem with that. But I do have yeah, a problem. Yeah, I don't either. With my second, a third, a fourth round pick can't get on the field because Isn't of the producing. mental deal. You know, the lights done got too big. Yeah. And you played in the SEC, the Pac-12. You you, you played in the ACC, and you in so, the lights that got too big. Do you believe because you don't want to <laughs> study? So do you think that they're making it? You believe that they're making it too difficult, or, or are they emphasizing the mental side of it too much? Because there was a time in there was a time in, in, in place where guys just line up and play. And, you know, you had your preparation, you did your due diligence, you studied, you did your film work and you got out there and you played and you let your talent take over. Now with the, the pushback from the players association yeah. in terms of on the field, right? I think they're only allowed to actually yes. compete on the field for what, two hours, I think a day. Um, now you're having these four walkthroughs, right. four or five walkthroughs a day. And it's absolutely absurd. And you're walking, you're taking so many mental reps because the coaches are like, screw this. We can't do the physical. So we got to at least get the mental in. And now maybe guys are overthinking. No, no. no. Maybe they're let, overthinking let and they don't right have here. the confidence, Nate, to okay. go out there and just play. I'm going to run this route. It's an option route. And I'm the outside receiver. I'm going to run 15 yards. I'm going to uh-huh. be looking at that, at that safety to my side. If he's up, I'm going to run behind him. If he's up, I'm going to run behind him. If he drops back, I'm going to cut in front of him five yards. How 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 hard is that? Yeah. How, that's that's real hard. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, the thing is, Nate, so, so, so listen, from the mental side of it, you understand it. I look at it on paper. I can watch it on film. I can walk through it all day long, but when I when I don't have the physical full speed reps to to facilitate those and get confident with it, now I have hesitation. And that now is what I'm second I'm guessing myself. About. Now the game might be that moving too I'm, fast. If you're okay. gonna take away the speed of the game, running, see, because one thing when you're a numbers guy like I was, you know. And we 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 uh we had to know every defense 
versus these numbers because we wasn't changing the play. But if you are, if you are <laughs> a um, West Coast guy, where everything is on the fly, because they don't told you basically everything, they making this defense acquiesce to you. Am I correct? Because you know you on the fly, boom, boom. Okay, Correct. oh the safety back. Oh man, I'm finna cut in front of. Oh yeah. that safety up. I'm finna go back behind him. Oh this is a quick snap. Oh everybody, hey this this back and yeah. uh, eased up in in the back in, in my line. My guy sitting on my corner, sitting on the outside. My back. Oh this fifteen tw- slant. Boom. I'm I'm in there. Let's see. I'm thinking on the move. Oh linebacker yeah. back. Oh my man pressed me to the inside. Boom boom. Option. I'm going out. Quick out. Okay, I'm reading on the fly. Because I did everything on the fly. Correct. But if you sitting there walking and you got some dude jacking around on defense, not giving you the proper look, or talking to you, or rapping to you, hey, man, I'm sad, da, 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 you know. <laughs> Bro, this, this game. So how, do you, so, Nate, how do you, so how do you fix it, man? Because the reality is yes. guys need to be on the field getting reps. That's the reality. Walkthroughs are valuable, but I think they're being overutilized currently. So if you, if the walkthroughs are overutilized and they're causing guys to second guess their decisions because they're thinking about it so much, but the physical aspect had to be taken away right. because of the the demand on players and their physical and their bodies. Where's the where the is coaching. the happy medium? In the coaching, uh, okay. Your coach got to be. To the point where, you know, and I use Dion, like Dion tell guys, Dion got guys on the field an hour and 45 minutes. Now, it can go a little bit longer sometimes, depending on how the practice is going. You know how coaches are. They'll push the envelope. But yep. if you go out and give them, give coaches what they want, and that, and, and that, is, that is where the Cowboys should be this year. You know, that okay. be like, hey, fellas, stop. No, no, no. No, I y'all need to know this. Cause I'm not gonna go in meetings this year for the first six games saying, that's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Okay. You know. Uh C D Lamb has the, <laughs> I, I, what's wrong? I, I, I got a, I got a question for you, Nate. I got a question for you, Nate. You you going you I don't even know if you heard about this. The other day, the New York Jets. Yes, yes. Head Robert coach. was it Robert Saleh? Okay. The yeah, head coach for the Jets. Coach. Defensive yes. coach. You remember he used to be the defensive coordinator yeah, for the, the San Francisco 49ers, right? Okay. He canceled minicamp. Wow. Wow, he did? Why did he do that? <laughs> I'm assuming he wanted to give guys a break. Now, they are the ultimate West Coast team with John Wick coming in there. With Aaron Rodgers coming in there, these guys must really be some smart guys because he is the ultimate. Now, I think that I think that played a part in it because Aaron Rodgers right. is nursing a calf strain. So the mini camps weren't going to be facilitated right. by their number one guy. And I'm not sure if he wanted to move forward in minicamp with that being the right. last practices and last right. memory going into training camp, not being the main guy. So I ask you, under what situation and what circumstances would you ever, as a head coach, cancel minicamp when we just talked about the importance of never, on never, field never. full speed reps? Le- the only way I would ever do never that land. is. My my veteran guys have done everything I've asked. I'm not because if you, if I got any guys that I'm dependent on that's young, uh, too many guys that's new, Gilmore, uh, Cook. No, nah, we no nah, we we need these reps. We need you to be out there doing it. Okay. The, the thing is, nothing about the Jets are established, but Aaron Rodgers. He know what he gonna do. And a few guys that he brought from Green Bay, they know what they gonna do. So, but everybody else don't, man. Right. They, everybody. So, so, so you're not you're not on board you know with, with canceling mini camp. You know what my biggest issue is. You know what my <laughs> very very biggest issue is. What's that? Is I, I, I talk to too many fans. 
too many fans. Yeah. Uh, the fans deserve better. The fans deserve better. You, and I'm talking. I'm not just talking about cowboy fans. What do you I'm mean by that? Just I travel a lot, and you hear people talk about the teams, and and uh, and I and I, and I ain't about nobody's money. I mean, if you want to pay a man fifty million dollars a year, give him get the fifty million, bro. But I do expect for you to perform. I do, you know, we we got guys like we got guys that if you're not a fifth year guy, you need to be on the field practicing. And you need to tell coach, hey, man, I don't need yeah. a rest day. You need to be trying to be the best guy you can for your team. You know, I need to be getting this extra film. I need to, I need to do what's right for my team. And, 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 and I wasn't always that guy. But I had so many guys around me that took this game so serious. And I guess that's why all of these guys in the Hall of Fame Mike Irvin, Troy, yeah. Emmett, Charles Haley. Uh, just come on, man. Larry Allen. I mean, guys that took it so serious. Shit, Big E could have got in there easily. They took it so seriously, too. Yeah. When, when, when you looked around the locker room and you find out you're the only one around lunchtime, you're the only one out in the uh, – in, in, in the training room, the tra- I mean, the training area, eating, and you look around, where are all the players? These guys done took their food, and they in there watching film. And, and so I wonder if they have any guys like that because what happened to our third-round pick, and I'm not going to call his name, what happened to our third-round pick last year uh, and what I've seen other guys lacking, uh, that, that should not ever happen to us, to the Dallas Cowboys. So it shouldn't shouldn't happen. Okay. All right, Nate, I got I got some news, man, that I I know that you going your eyes are gonna get big on. So you you know who Lionel Lionel Messi Messi. is? No, 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 I don't. I don't want to guess who. He's he's one of the world's best soccer players. You know, we we talked about some soccer on on this platform a little bit before in regards to the, the contracts. Well he just passed on an opportunity to go play. Right. He already he plays in Paris right now, but he had an opportunity to go play right. for in Saudi right. Arabia. They offered him some bread. I think they offered him three years, Nate, one point two and, and billion. So his wife, he, he ain't married. Is I know he ain't married. He can't be married. <laughs> He's married. I know his wife <laughs> looking at him like in whatever language they speak, she ain't talking nice to him. <laughs> he, he, he turned it down. Oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, man, he can buy a small, small island with that, bro. Man, he turned it down. So while I'm around here talking about mental issues, about players not sorry. this dude right here talking about billionaire issues. <laughs> Turning down billions. Wow. Years one point two, Nate. That had been the mm. fastest thirty six months of my life. I'd have gave all I had. I probably wouldn't have played. He's going to play in Miami. they would be like, Nate, well, why? Yeah, I'm trying to get these folks all I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, I just had to throw that news out there. Well, <clears throat> uh, y'all, y'all heard Nate here tell y'all about how he feels about about these young bucks in camp and we talked about the Jets we talked about the Cowboys we talked about the walkthroughs aka the Jason Garrett is like I like how I like to refer to it um, I've had my fair share of walkthroughs Nate and I can tell you what it, it never I don't want to say never there is never a time where I felt because of the walkthroughs that I was more confident I was a doer doing my assignments I was a doer I had to go out on the field yeah me too and kind of go up, go at it a little bit. I ain't had to go wide open, but I had to go at it a little bit, have a few little variations of how this may look, and it helped me adjust it when the game came. But uh, I just don't want to go out to training camp, which, I, you know, I'll be begging to be there. You know me, I, we talked about this before I came on air. But I, I'm not right. going out there and just watch dudes walk out there with their hats on, you know, stand over there, you know, the, the group that's going, then you see four or five guys over there, you know, and 
Then they walk back inside, and that's the end of it. And I'll be like, wow. And then the next thing, and then next thing you know, they're playing yeah. a preseason game, and they're supposed to go one hundred percent. I'm with you, Nate. I'm yeah. with you. All right, we're gonna leave that conversation right there. Hey, uh, I'm gonna let my big dog Nate all close us out, like he always says. Nate, what do we just man. do, man? I thank you, Niagara. I knew that was a big one. Now, I mean, we got to <laughs> use the full flush. We can't use a half flush on hell. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I caught my boy Zell off guard because he had some other yeah. stuff he wanted to talk about, but I'm sorry. Yeah. No, oh, it's all right. Wow. I like it. I like getting it up off your chest, man. Hey, that's what we do here. Let me tell you something. And we just let you hear exactly Thank what you. we had to say. We'll see y'all next time.